What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Good morning. Your buddy Joe drinking some tasty caffeine. If you guys want to try something really good, try this salted caramel by Bones Coffee Company. Again, super shout out to my buddy Jay the Caffeinator. I really appreciate you with the support of getting me coffee, my friend. You know, it means a lot. As much, you know, I enjoy coffee, so I like to see what's out there in regards to like taste and flavors or whatever, you know. The Black Rifle Company, uh, company yeah, the coffee's good. Uh, Death Wish, uh, they do good stuff as well. But so far, like uh, this company, Bones Coffee Company, uh, they're, they're kind of becoming our, like, our main go-to in the sense of flavored coffee. God damn, this is really good. <laughs> they, you know, they do like these themes, coffee flavors and shit like that. And like, uh, yeah, we ha I have another one, which is like a donut jelly type of flavor. But that was good also. But this one, yeah, this one's a shit. <laughs> so if you guys want to try some good coffee, I suggest this one. <laughs> That's really good. It's really fucking good. So Jay, thank you. If anybody else wants to contribute to my caffeine addiction, <laughs> You know, links in the description. I really do appreciate it. it does help me out to make these uh, videos. So me and the girlfriend and a uh, friend, we went to uh, the LA County Fair. It's kind of like our yearly routines, you know, like uh, when it comes around. I live in Orange County and then like uh, LA County is nearby. So we have like those two counties together. They're, they basically have fairs each, right? So we went to like the LA County Fair. Then in July, we have like the Orange County Fair, right? Uh, the LA County Fair used to be like in September, I believe, around there. But like usually here in California, it gets really fucking hot. And it was uncomfortable to go, right? So they moved it now to like May. And like, I'm glad they did because like we did have some overcast. I mean, there was some heat still, but it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It was tolerable, right? That was nice. And uh, yeah, and it was different this time. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on in the sense of like uh, vendors and shit like that. I noticed that like uh, the, the vendors were small. Was it last year we, when we went to like the LA County Fair, they had like a, they had a Halloween like a uh, mini expo thing going on inside and there was like an entire hangar just full of like halloween related shit right uh they did the same thing this year but this time it was only half a hangar it wasn't that much but i was surprised it's a possibility that has to do with um the date you know because like i said they moved they moved the lake county fair from september up to may so maybe like the scheduling for some of these vendors like was off so maybe like that's why like uh they weren't we didn't see that much this year my assumption yeah there wasn't uh, that many like halloween vendors this time right yeah a lot of these vendors that we check out they're all very similar in the sense of like you know they basically have a schedule what conventions to go to then they have to pick and choose which convention they, they want to go to right the, the benefits them the most right so obviously them going to like a comic book convention makes more sense than going to a county fair right type of thing so that does happen yeah we usually tend to have like a routine in the sense of like uh we like to walk up and down the hangars just to see what they have like selling you know uh we didn't get anything this time actually like i said there wasn't that many like vendors this time which uh i thought was kind of like interesting which i was kind of surprised to be honest but you know, whatever so the thing we focused on most was uh yeah eating and uh checking out the animals and other good stuff food was incredibly expensive uh, i mean it's expected but at the same time it's pretty like dude what the fuck yo in the past it used to have been like i went with like a very strict budget because i wasn't making much money right but like uh this year i kind of like wanted to like experience more of what they had to offer in the sense of food right and um unfortunately i think uh I probably won't spend that much money next time I go to a fair because it was just like ridiculously expensive. My God. In LA County, like that, I was surprised. Say I buy a burrito, you know, I was like, oh, $17 or something like that. And then like, you know, with tax, it went up to close to 20. I'm like, what the fuck happened? It turns out in LA County, the tax, uh, sales tax is 1025, 10.25%. I was like, what the fuck? When did this happen? <laughs> oh shit. I'm like, God damn it. No wonder I'm spending so much money, right? They want everything to be like cashless now. So, I mean, you're basically forced to use your credit card. So, you know, if you're the type of person that uh, you don't keep track of your spending through a credit card, then it's easy to like uh, overspend but that's for sure we were there all day we had breakfast at home but you know by the time we got to like the fair obviously you know buying a drink buying you know uh, something that caught our interest you know uh, a dessert or whatever uh me personally i ended up like, uh, spending almost like close to 100 bucks right but that's including like um you know parking and specific drinks on you know lunch and dinner 
and maybe there's some dessert. Uh, it's uh, it's like way too much. I was like, fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, things are getting way too expensive here in America. God damn it. I mean, I had fun in this and that, but like Santa was like, uh, it was a bit of an eye opener. I was like, shit, yeah. You need to come here with prepared, really. Yeah, next time I do a fair, I'm definitely not gonna like depend too much on buying the food there. <laughs> I'll definitely take my snacks and my water and all this shit, cause god damn it, fuck this. <laughs> 100 bucks for the day just for food, nah. Yeah, that $20 burrito was like uh, an eye opener for me. It's like, fuck. <laughs> but besides that, I mean, yeah, we did have fun. Like, it felt different though. Like, the vibe was off. I don't know what. Uh, how to put it, but like I said, like uh, in regards to like artistic stuff, there wasn't that much. In regards to vendors, we didn't see that many, right? Um, it still got full in the sense of people, you know, and we still got to enjoy to see the animals, which we had fun, right? Uh, when we showed up, uh, baby goats and pigs were born within a week of us being there, right? So we were able to see like the baby animals, which was nice. I even got to pet like a baby goat, which, you know, that's a first for me. Yeah, that was fun. That was another thing I guess I thought was kind of like a bit of a what the fuck is going on was that there wasn't that many shows. Even like the museum, like it was very empty. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I just felt like, like I said, it felt like I was lacking a lot. It was so odd, right? <laughs> the more I talk about this, the more I sound like a total downer with this fucking like event. <laughs> I guess my overall experience this year is that, uh, yeah, for one, I'm definitely going to take more snacks. I'm not going to like uh, depend on food there because uh, like I said, I guess I just wanted to try out more stuff because I never really done that in the past like it was like was kind of stingy in the sense of buying food right but yeah now i see why i don't i don't paying 20 dollars for fucking burritos not worth it god damn it maybe like uh buy food to share right but god damn it things are too expensive unfortunately and then like the 10.25 percent tax rate in la county my god fuck you we stay there all day you know we got there early we basically stay there till like almost closing time and uh well, we have fun, but as you can imagine, it was very tiring. But um, I can't see myself like doing that again. Maybe next year, like we'll just have more of a, an idea of what to visit, and, you know, what to check out, this and that, and maybe like have a cutoff time by a certain time, you know. I like to change things up, and then like they have more shows to check out and stuff, and who knows? But I don't know. This year was kind of like it was fun, but it was more of like just walk around, see the animals, you know, just being there in the environment, so on and so forth. I don't like doing the rides. I don't trust those things. <laughs> it's not my thing whatsoever. Like going on the damn rides. But yeah, it was definitely a nice day to spend the day, right? But uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely I'm gonna go with the plan next time because goddamn it, the amount of money I spent on food, yeah, I just didn't think it was worth it, and like uh. There wasn't really that much to check out, unfortunately. They did have cool things though, so it's not like I'm just like uh, being a downer. They did have like sections where like they offer you like free like uh, roller skates uh, rink. You know, you can just get a pair and you can you know, hop in, you know, for free, which is that was cool. Uh, they also had an arcade section where like for five bucks you're able to play everything you want for like an hour. So that was pretty neat. You know, so they did have some affordable uh, fun, you know, that's, uh, you know, no complaints there. And obviously the pet is you, you know, the shit. So it wasn't that bad. I just, like, uh, I guess the only thing I'm criticizing is like, um, the vibe was totally different in the sense like less vendors, less shows, less art exhibits, uh, less things to be on display, you know, that kind of thing. And I had a kick in the ass reminder that like, yeah, I need to take my food. Take some snacks, some protein bars or something, and then like not depend on food there, cause god damn it. Hundred dollars is just food and drinks, yeah. Fuck all that. <laughs> Shit. Which is why I appreciate you guys fucking buying me the coffee. It does help me save money and balance things out so I'm not too butthurt about it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> fun overall yeah cool uh we do have passes for like the orange county fair that was close by to where we live the thing we're gonna do differently with that one is that we're, there are free shows that are, you're able to attend you know so we appreciate that we have like the uh, the season pass so we're able to go whenever we want so we can just gonna go for like a few hours hang out and then leave we're not gonna spend a whole day like we did in ailey county right so uh depending how things go with that uh fair there's a possibility that maybe in the future uh, we'll just stick to Go to the Orange County one instead of like the LA Fair. The thing about the LA Fair is that it's bigger. That's for sure. You know, it's uh, there's more in the sense of like space. But I mean, what's the point of that? It's bigger if there's not much to check out. <laughs> Just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's better. That's for sure. Uh, we shall see. But anyways, LA County Fair. That was fun. The vibe was different, unfortunately. Less vendors than uh, we have like, seen in the past. Yeah, the energy wasn't the same. That's for sure. Anyways, I got nothing else to say. Thanks for hanging out with me for a bit. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.